What's up everybody, I'm back, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to port forward. Um, so, the first thing you're going to want to figure out is, uh, you're going to want to know what your default gateway is. And, uh, to figure that out, you're going to have to go and open up a command prompt. The easiest way to do this would be to go start, run, or search, uh, CMD. And it should bring up a black window like this. If you guys don't know what a command prompt is, it just lets you enter commands into the operating system. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a command called ipconfig, okay, and what I'm looking for right now is the default gateway. Mine is 10.0.0.1, okay, you're going to want to take this and go into Google Chrome or any browser and type that in. It's going to bring you to your login for your router. Because I have Comcast, which is Xfinity, they're going to prompt me to log into like their service whatever you have uh, like whatever type of router you have is going to be different it's going to ask you to sign in to them or they might not even have a login depending on who configured your router so for any default user on xfinity your router login if no one changed your password or your username it should just be admin and the password is literally just password all lowercase letters And I never changed my password, so it's probably going to prompt me to change it when I sign in here. See, I'm using a default password where I'd like to change it, and I'm going to click uh, no, because I'm not really trying to change that right now. But that's pretty much all we needed to figure out right here right now, because we can't port forward to a port until we figure out what the port is. Because what happens when you're port forwarding is incoming traffic, if someone's trying to connect, let's say, your Minecraft server, okay? Incoming traffic is going to be looking at a specific port on your router, and uh, that port needs to be able to point it in the direction of the correct computer on your network. And in order to figure out what computer it needs to point to, we need to figure out what its IP address is. So the first step in doing that would be to go back here to our command prompt and figure out our IPv4 address, which is the one of this computer on our network, which should have the same network address as this, okay, which is a 10.0.0 because our default gateway is like uh, 255.255.255.0. So our IPv4 address is 10.0.0.224. So we got to remember that, okay, because that's the IP address of this computer right here. So what we need to do is we need to figure out what port we're going to be running our server on so we know what port to forward to that IP address. So the way we do that is actually in the uh, server properties for your Minecraft server. So I'm actually just going to go straight into uh, my Grarian Skies 2 server that I'm, I was running recently and it's actually not up right now but I'm going to go to the properties and I'm going to edit them with notepad. And I'm going to look right here, and the port that I'm running it on is 25565. So that port needs to be forwarded to this computer for traffic coming in on that port to be pointed to this computer. My router needs to be able to route the tra incoming traffic. So in order to do that, you go back to your router settings. And you're probably going to be in advanced settings. It's going to be something called port forwarding. And it writes right here, okay, and you can see that I already have it set up, but I'm going to go in and edit it. Normally, if you didn't have anything set up here, you'd click Add Service. Okay, so now that it came up, you can name your service. This really doesn't matter. I usually just, you can name it, oops, I can spell. Oh, my God. Oh, it is right, okay. So, Minecraft server, leave it as a TCP UDP and your server IP address, you don't worry about the IPv6, you want the, the IP address is the IPv4, it's the same one that's right here, so this is 10.0.0.224, so type that in here, don't put the dots, just let them do the dots, so 10.0.0.224, and the start port and the end port are going to be the same, because we're only using one port, and that port is 25565. So you'd enter that in both, oh my god, you put that in both of them. And uh, if you have an option where you can select a device uh, to actually add the IPv4, IPv6 address, you can you can click them right here, and this, this right here. My, my name's Brad, so 
Brad PC is the name of this computer, and that's my IPv6 address, and right there, as you can see, is the IPv4. So I could actually just click this and add, but not all routers have that option. So I would show you how to manually go and find your IP address and put it in. And then you just click save and it would save it, but I'm not going to because I already have a service running right now on that port. As you can see, I'll edit it. It's the same thing. This is the one that I have running right here. And I will save that. So that's pretty much all there is to it, and uh, you basically just run your server and have uh, someone go ahead and put your IP address in with the port number and try to join it. And uh, hopefully it should work if you set everything up correctly and your server's configured correctly. Uh, the person seeking uh, through that port should be able to be directed to the IP address of the computer you forwarded to. So in order for someone to actually join your server and play on your server, you're going to have to give them an address to go to. And people know that as like whatever address it asks you to join in Minecraft. Usually sometimes it's a website name if it's a well-known server that has a dom like a domain name. But usually it's just going to be your uh, your public IP address. So to figure that out, if you don't know what your public IP address is, you can figure it out really, really easily. Just go to Google and type in IP, okay? And it'll tell you this. First off, it's going to tell you your public IP address, but if it comes up and it's an IPv6 address, like it's all in hexadecimal, and that means it has letters and numbers in it because it's a base 16 system, uh, you're going to want to do something different. You're going to just want to type in what is my IPv4 address, And go to IPLookup.net. I'll put a uh, link in the description for you guys so that you guys can link right to this. But this is a pretty good website. It'll actually tell you both of them. And right here, it's going to tell you your uh, public IP address. It'll also tell you down here. And I'm going to blur that guy out for you guys. I know you guys can't see that because I'm not trying to give out my public IP address to the Internet. But you take this address. And here, I'll just make an, a notepad real quick. And what you do is you type it in. Let's say, for instance, it was uh, one. Let's say it was uh, 75.45.212.242. Okay. Let's say that was my public IP address. Now, since my s Minecraft server is running on port 25565, you have to put a colon, and then you put the port number like that. Okay. But you got to make sure that this right here is a colon. Okay. That's a colon. Not a semi, not a semicolon. Okay, these two are not the same. This is a comma. This is a period. I know most people know the difference, but you want to use the one that's like on a digital clock, like that one, because it won't work if you put the other one. So that is uh, basically that's the address that you give out to people to join your server. And if you were trying to sign into the server from locally inside the network, you would have to use the IP address, which for this computer is just 10.0.0.224 if you recall oh, I got rid of it but uh, it was which we looked up before and what we the address we port forwarded to is the one we have to use here if you're gonna go from a different computer but if you're gonna sign on from the computer that you're hosting it from you can do it from two ways you can either use the address of zero which is localhost or you can actually type in the words localhost okay and that will also work as an address so that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Uh, I hope this helped in any way, and if it did, be sure to leave a like. And uh, if you guys want to see any tutorials in the future, be sure to tell me what you guys want to see because I'm up to making tutorials. I have no reason not to because I know it helps a lot, some people out, and I'm all for that. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.